Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be making a Square on Premiere Pro uh, CS6 and uh, again I just wanted to share some of the uh, things that I've learned over the years. Uh, I'm kind of self-taught with Premiere Pro and like I said I just want to share some of the knowledge that I've gained over the years. Uh, some tips and tricks. So let's get to it. Okay so Here's our square we're going to do. So let's move this over here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to title, new title, default still. And we're going to call this uh, square. Um, let's call it square three. Okay. This is pretty simple. Um, all you got to do is just click here where the square is at and just left click and just drag your mouse over tell us about the size you want and we have a solid square so now what do we do to make it just have a square line so to speak so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here where it says graphic type uh, it says rectangle here. I'm going to go down and we're going to go to open Beezer. Click it and now we have the line. Okay, let's center up here a little bit. Okay, let's say you want the line a little thicker. So we're going to go to line width and we're just kind of just dragging it over here and you can get it as thick as you want. So let's say we want it right about there okay let's say for some reason you want to rotate it then you can just rot you know go to rotation and of course you know just turn it any way you want okay where are we at there well, let's just go ahead and double click it so we'll see. uh... and you can play with some of the stuff here uh, um, if you want a you know, rectangle, of course it's a rectangle to fill it, uh, ellipse, uh, arc, wedge, gives it kind of a chamfer, rounded corners, uh, clip corner, uh, round rectangle, uh, logo, um, there's our original one that we were doing. Uh, closed. Not too sure what that is. Filled. Same thing, I guess, is rectangle. Uh, so we'll go back to this Beezer. And let's get the line a little thick. And one of the other things you can do is on opacity is you can, you know, adjust the, I guess, the contrast. Okay, and if you want to change the color, of course, this little black box here, or excuse me, the little white box here, where it says color. And then if you wanted to change that to red, we just drag it over, or any color. If you don't like the colors here, again, you can change it here. Uh, let's get a little more red in there. And make it red. It down a little bit. There you go. And then we close it. And let's find a picture here. Um, let's say we wanted to put a square again on this lug nut here. We wanted to show it. So we go to square three, go to you know, project file there, look for square three, grab it, drag it over, and there's our square. Let's say now it's too big. We just go to square, double click it, comes up, it should come up with the picture there. Now we can make the adjustments. So let's let's go ahead and move it here let's say let's get that top lug nut right there and then we um, 
kind of drag this to make it smaller. Just let's bring it down here over. And maybe the line's too little too thick, so we can kind of skinny it up there to where we're actually looking at the nut, not the box. And that's how you do it. So again, thanks for uh, watching and uh, please like and subscribe and tune in for some more tips and tricks and I can't wait for you to look at my other videos that I've made. Until then, see you later. Bye.